Hey everybody, we're going to take a little ride today and go to what I would refer to as an Amish medical or healthcare facility. Now I have to give you a disclaimer. I started out on this little journey because I wanted to do a video about Amish women and how they have uh, give birth. And I was told that most of the women went to Brain Bainsbridge, which is a small town near me, a lot of Amish um, families there. And it was this little healthcare facility that they went to where there was a midwife. Well, once I got there, I found out that this was not th that location. So that's what inspired me to go. But we did find out I was able to answer some questions that I also was curious about. Do the Amish use a health care insurance? And we will find out. We're going to a little town called Bainbridge. And we're going to visit a little family practice called Trusted Healthcare. And this is where many Amish and Mennonite families come to to get their medical treatment here in my community. And basically, I did go in and I met a really nice lady that was at the desk. Um, she's a medical assistant. And she shared with me that this is kind of like an urgent care for the English people, but it's for Amish. Um, one of the things that's very, very different for the Amish than is for us, they do not carry any health insurance. And when they come in, they always pay cash. Not only does this healthcare facility or family practice serve the Amish and the Mennonite, but they also serve the people in the community. And Emma shared with me that the elderly tend to come in and then they have a income housing, lower income housing, she said, right across the street, um, off the main street, that serves families like that as well. Here is a picture of their prices. And I don't know about you, but I think it would be cheaper just to come in here and pay cash than to have to pay an insurance premium. So definitely they make it affordable for people to come in and get the health care that they need. Now, one thing that she did share with me, she said, while we're not really an urgent care, we're more of a family practice, many people, she said, almost all of them always wait until it becomes an urgent problem before they come. And she goes, and they don't have to. She goes, if, if they get sick or they have a cough, they're welcome to come in. They don't have to wait until it gets really bad. She said, but unfortunately, she noticed that most of the people that come in, especially the Amish and the Mennonite, they almost wait till it's like so bad they have to come in. And she said it really would be nice if people would come in sooner because then it's treatable and they can heal faster. Now, Emma herself does not do the medical care. There is a provider. She kept using the word provider comes in. And we finally <laughs> agreed that that provider is actually the doctor that comes in. So many, actually many of the facilities in my area, in my county, doctors come in two or three days a week. We're not, as you can see, the population is really small. And it really wouldn't suffice for one person to come here and set up office and be here five days a week. So she said tomorrow was the day for the provider to come in. And she was just there to take appointments or to help people if there was an emergency. I did ask if people talked about or how their feelings were about COVID. And she said, actually, it's not even an issue with mom and the Amish, or at least the people that come in here for her. She said they don't even talk about the vaccinations. They don't talk about COVID. It's not even front and center for them in her experience. And it's interesting because that's all we hear about, but not for them. So that was interesting. I was, I still am curious how the Amish feel about all of this and what's going on. And I'll definitely find out more information from the actual, uh, my neighbor, since um, she's not finding out much here. So what do the Amish do if they have something more serious where it's not a cold or a cough, something where they might need x-rays or a more serious condition that they need to be seen? They will go to the English hospitals, but they have to get a driver to take them. And since they're self-pay, typically they have to pay before they get there. If they can't pay, they get the same services that we would if we didn't have the money where you can fill out forms and think, see if you qualify for some help. Um, works the same way for the Amish as it does for the English. All right, if you have any other questions about the Amish and healthcare, be sure to answer, ask those questions down in the comments. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. And thank you and have a blessed day.